your discretion. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra. And I'm bringing you today a review on a new product from Cena. It's called the uh, 10C Motorcycle Bluetooth Camera and Communication System. Now, it's no secret that I'm a fan of Cena products. I started out with an SMH10, uh, moved into my current uh, 20S. I'm using a GP10 GoPro back on a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. Uh, I also have a Cena Prism as an on motorcycle camera. And um, I'm going to see how this compares to pretty much all of them. But i um, really excited about this because what it does is you're combining the uh, Bluetooth communicator with a camera all in one. So let's take a look at what we have here. Let's open her up. I like the way Cena packages their stuff, kind of like a slip fit, pull it right out. And inside, everything is pretty nicely organized. There's the unit itself, the unit of the 10C. And um, it's fairly small. It's probably about the same size as something, something like a uh, Drift Ghost S. Um, a little bit wider than a GoPro Hero 3, 3 Plus, or 4, but about the same width. It's got the familiar jog dial on it. This looks like a phone dial, uh, power, and I'm not sure what the top button does. And there's the all-important camera right there. So just off the bat, i, I got to give it points because it's very familiar feel to it. Uh, coming from a 20S and an SMH10, it feels like the Cena family of Bluetooth products. So let's go a little bit further into the packaging and see what else we have. Okay, so what else we have here underneath the separator is probably going to be all the uh, extras. Quick start guide. Um, this appears to be a charging cable. Now something that's interesting, both the Prism and the 10C appear to have this type of a, a powered USB. Or I, I might be saying that wrong, but it has this little kind of capacitor in there where the one for my 20S did not. Uh, car charger, quite honestly I never use that. You have the boom microphone, a wired microphone which is what I always run. These are speaker extenders inside the helmet, speakers themselves. Now I'm pretty sure these are similar to the 20S speakers that offer a better sound. You have a microphone cover, actually two of them, and the Velcro to attach it. No, these are the help. These are the spacers for the speakers. So then I wonder what. Let's see. The other things were. Well, that'll be interesting. These are. I guess these are foam covers for the speakers. That's new. My 20S didn't have that. So I stand corrected. These are type of foam speaker covers. Let's take a look at them. Yeah. A slip-on foam speaker cover, which the 20S did not have. And then you have the standard uh, speaker extensions. Now, uh, running an RF, uh, uh, RF 1100 Showy, I did not have to use these. But on some, uh, on some helmets, you might want to space them out a little bit. And what else we have here? This is an it looks to be an adhesive mount. And this is the other standard, uh, very familiar clamp mount. So this is what I'm probably going to go with. This is what I used for my 20S. This is what I used for the Prism. And it'll be what I use for the 10C. So let's look at how it mounts. The helmet I'm going to be working with today is my Shoei RF1100. As you can see, it currently has a Cena 20S on it. So I'm going to remove the 20S and the speakers and the microphone, all the internals, to make uh, make room for the 10C. I also wanted to show you the approximate size comparison between the 20S and the 10C. And they do both mount the same way. This is a clamp style mount, and I'm going to be using the same clamp style mount with the 10C. There is an adhesive mount, as I said, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go with the clamp style. So let's get this off and get it ready for the 10C. I have removed the visor and one side cheek pad just to help you out as far as seeing stuff. I would actually suggest removing this anyway. 
Now we're going to use the Cena clamp system. Like I said, I'm not going to use the adhesive mount. And this is similar to every one of Cena's mounts that it will clamp around the outer shell between the EPS liner right here. And what it does is it wedges itself. I'm going to pull that off, make it a little easier. Maybe you can see. Now remember, wherever you put this, that's where your camera is going to be mounted. So I'm going to want to put it probably right about here. And once you have it where you want it, you simply tighten up the two Allen head screws. You don't have to kill them, but they do have to be snug so that it grabs a hold of the shell. Okay, once that's all tightened, we will put this one back on. This is the actual camera mount. And I intentionally have left it loose because that allows you to kind of rotate, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, something that I noticed right off the bat is that this mount is more like the prism mount in that there's no electronics on this at all. Whereas the 20S mount had its electronics built in and the speakers and the microphone were directly connected. This mount has nothing, which makes me wonder how it's going to plug into the 10C. So let's keep going. Okay, so now is a good time to test fit the 10C to see how it looks or where it's positioned on your helmet. This arrow should be facing up. If you loosen this little cogwheel, you'll see you can spin this, and that's what gives you some adjustment on the camera. But you don't want it to be too loose, otherwise it won't stay on. So I'm just going to snug it up a little bit. And this just press fits in. I don't believe there's a lock on it at all. And as I said, there is no um, circuitry or anything here, a plug. So let's see if I can actually swing this from here. There it is. And you see right now I can do my rotations and lock it down and once it's locked down yeah she's not going to move but we'll have to see how it looks when we test it out incidentally the lens cover is still on here and you can see now it allows you to rotate back and forth to get the angle that you might need when it's on the helmet pretty cool feature i actually like that very much kind of fine tune your uh your shot so the camera's on but as far as a microphone or speakers i have nothing so let's let's move into that on my Showy RF 1100, I made my own speaker spacers. The ones that they come with, that, that come with the kit, are rather thick. They're probably like seven to eight millimeters. I made by using two pieces of Velcro cut into the circle. I made them they're about one or two millimeters, and they, I find that they space them out perfectly. Here are the speakers that come with the kit. They're very similar in look to the 20S speakers. Um, obviously, one goes one way, one goes the other. Now. Hanging off of this speaker wire is this short pigtail. What's interesting about that is that's where your microphone plugs in. Here's my wired mic, which I'm going to be using. It has Velcro on the back. And it's, everything's going to go exactly in the same place that the 20S was. However, here is your wiring. Now, in the beginning, I had spoken about this plug right here being a power plug. That's not what that is. That's where the wiring goes in. Plugs right into that. Your, your power plugs are actually underneath these waterproof... Uh, waterproof flaps right down here and here. Those are all your plugs, your memory cards and stuff. Um, I kind of wish it had more of a click-in circuit board like the 20S does. But we'll see how it looks when it's all in. So let's go ahead and install the uh, speakers and microphone. Okay, so the speakers and the wired mic are installed. I'm going to plug the two of them together. There's plenty of room. This one goes in, done, and we'll kind of tuck these out of the way. Once I put the uh, cheek pad in, you won't see any of it. And then this plug, which has the speakers and the microphone plugged into it, will plug right into the back of the unit. Now, let's just make sure this thing works. We'll turn it on by pressing the jog dial on the phone at the same time. Yep, she's working. Um, all right, let's button her up and take a look. Okay, so I've put all of the padding back in, and she looks a lot better, all clean and neat. Um, she's all ready to go. You have, let me just loosen this up a little bit. You have adjustment here, and as I said, once you like that, you can lock it up. And you have adjustment here, side to side. So you have a pretty decent amount of adjustment. You can see it does stick off the helmet a little bit farther than the 20S. But it is pretty compact. Um, 
I don't know, I don't absolutely love this wire hanging down here, but I mean, it's not a deal breaker. It's just kind of, I wish everything would have just kind of plugged right into the harness like the 20S did. So there you go, unboxed and installed on the helmet. It was a relatively quick installation. Um, if you've ever done any type of Cena Bluetooth product, it'll probably take you, I don't know, it took me about five minutes to be quite honest with you, and I put on a few of these. Turning it on and off is exactly the same as the other one, as any other Cena product, jog dial and the phone button. Goodbye. And with that, next time we'll do a full test on it, how it works, and what my impressions are on it as a blue, both a Bluetooth and as a camera. Thanks for watching. Any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, I'll see ya. Didn't like them. But, uh, yeah, she feels pretty good. She feels fairly nimble. Nice exhaust note. Nothing too crazy.